and let the journey continue. Welcome to my first episode of Journey TV. My name's John Pirro. I'm your host. And, you know, I first got online back in 2006 when I actually ended up being sent my very first video email by a gal that used to work for me in my event staffing business. And, uh, you know, I, I opened my email and uh, here's this, you know, she's talking to me in my inbox and it just kind of blew me away. So I gave her a quick call and I said, where did you get, you know, that, that tool? And she said, well, there's a meeting in Westport, you know, on Wednesday night at seven o'clock, you want to come. And I was like, Oh no, I've stayed away from MLMs for 21 years, you know, because uh, the, the issue was, is that, you know, you kind of lose your credibility with all your friends and family. And I'm sure you've been there uh, as well. If you've ever been involved with a MLM or uh, any kind of, network marketing type of business. Anyway, so I, uh, I got involved uh, with this company. I went on to do very well in the first six weeks. And then I was trying to figure out how to market online. And this is going back to when MySpace was around. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it, you know. And uh, anyway, I ended up in an online mentoring program for YouTube. Uh, it was a YouTube men mentorship. And it actually opened up my world to the whole internet marketing world. And that was my idea was I wanted to come online and learn how to market my businesses online use, using technology. And so I ended up spending the next five, five years, morning, noon, and night on Skype, making connections around the globe. The only problem is I just didn't know how to kind of switch it and, and turn it into, you know, to where I could monetize my, you know, my effort and my journey. So anyway, I started this show. My first guest is my Mr. Miyagi, Brian Campbell. Brian, welcome to the show. Hey, John, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining me. Um, you know, uh, Brian, what I was really interested in is sharing your story and how we met. Um, I mean, because when, when we met, we met through a, a, a Facebook group mm -hmm. and uh, it was kind of interesting how we met. Um, and, you know, several weeks after we had met, I said, Brian, do you remember how we met? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it was kind of funny, the story, because as I was going through it, you started laughing and I said, why are you laughing? And he said, well, you know, the reason is because, you know, how everybody wants to be right. And I was like, oh, boy, that's me. <laughs> and uh, that was kind of an identifier, I think, for you, because you were looking for some people, you know, six, seven, eight people to join you in your first mastermind, uh, the LMT group, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell, tell me a little bit about that. Tell me what your idea was. Uh, so. Going back for the past 20 years online, I've uh, created this process where I'll, I'll come into a market and become very well known, build authority and launch something uh, out of nowhere. So that's been my formula on how I've done that. Uh, the first time I did it was back in 2001. I uh, typed, you know, make money online into Google. And then after, you know, uh, learning about what eBooks were, I wrote my first ebook and I took a $2 ad and turned it into $2 million in my first 20 months of internet marketing. Um, I grew that into a bigger business, expanded into some other niche markets. And then when Facebook was new uh, in 2007 ish, um, I had this campaign where I was created the first high ticket affiliate marketing before they called it a high ticket program. Um, where it was organic marketing, although it wasn't called organic marketing back then, I did a publicity stunt to make $10,000 in 37 days. Well, by day 18, I'd made the 10,000. I ended up making 25,000 in 21 days when I closed the doors to that opportunity. And then I flew uh, to Vancouver and gave John Chow the first $10,000 check. Uh, you can read about that online if you Google it. I'm sure John will put a link to that. Uh, so that was one of these instances where I came onto Facebook with no money, no reputation, 
Nobody knew who I was, even though, you know, I had a, an email mailing list of 500,000 people from my prior business, uh, yeah. doing all kinds of awesome product launches for the prior 10 years, uh, eight years, whatever it was. And then I came onto Facebook as a nobody and completely with organic marketing and with my system of doing it, I just came out of nowhere and launched there. Um, launched a few more programs over the next few years and then retired for a while. I was a monk on Maui for five years. And uh, strategically, I've entered, uh, you know, made a lot of money, sell out $5,000 trainings, and then I'll, I'll go and just have fun and enjoy life and not just be business minded all the time. So uh, I decided to come back online around the same time as John. So we have synergy there. And uh, yeah, I was gathering a group of select people that met certain criteria. I wanted to attract rather than chase leads. Um, I attract people to me that are the right people to work with, uh, connected with John and a few other key people to launch this uh, journey TV with uh, the power of a mastermind group. So uh, we've been working on this for a few months and now we're here today uh, talking about our story, which there's a lot of other cool elements to this story. I'm excited to be publicly talking about for the first time. So John, I'll throw it back to you. Uh, Tell me about your decision to come back into the internet space and the timeline of when that happened and when we met and what happened next. Sure. So, you know, Brian, it was through those first five years that, you know, I actually did much better than I actually thought. The problem mm -hmm. was, is that I kept getting stung. And what I mean by that is, is I would earn commissions. I, my very first uh, webinar I did in 2008 and uh, I had 56 people on the webinar. I sold 49 units, made about $7,500, and the guy never paid me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was like, you know, that kind of hurts, right? And then, you know, you get involved with these different, the, the lure of uh, fast money, you know, the, the, uh, the, the Ponzi schemes and the pyramids mm -hmm. and so forth. I mean, people were like going through these things, making 10 grand, 10 grand, 10, you know, and here I was putting my money in, but I just couldn't get to the top. <laughs> you know? So I never made any money, but there's people making 50, 60, 80, $150,000, you know, and I'm like, ah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I ended up leaving the space in 2011 when I got stuck, a, stung a second time. You know, I put two, three months solid in getting this, uh, this Google tool off, off the ground for these guys. And it just was really priced too high. So mm -hmm. it, it wasn't anybody's fault. Just, it was just, happened to be. So I decided I was going to leave the space and I took a nine year sabbatical is what ended up happening. And, I, and the only reason why I came back online when I did is because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I had always said when I left the space in 2011 that, you know, the internet's a light switch. And once you know how to use it, you can come back anytime and make money. And funny thing is, is that that's exactly what you've done over yeah. the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. You'd come online, you'd make money, you make enough money, you leave for a period of time. You need more money, you come back <laughs> online, you make more yeah. money. <laughs> and that's exactly right. And I yeah. kept up on that when I first met you. Um, and the interesting thing was, Brian, is that when I came back online, when my business was flatlined in mid-March of this year, 2020, um, you know, I, I really had to get a feel of the landscape, see who's who, what's what, what's working, what's not, what's a scam, what's not a scam. You know, just I had to figure it out. I just wasn't comfortable. And quite frankly, I was never really comfortable mm -hmm. um, really kind of selling these Internet marketing opportunities. I just never was. You know, now when I came back on, I'm hearing about HTAM and it's like HTAM, what the heck is that? high ticket affiliate marketing. You make, you know, you sell something, you paid 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 and more dollars. And it's, you know, once you make that sale, it's deposited directly in your account. I'm like, that's what I want to do because back when I was doing it, I got stung, right? So I really like that idea. And I want to, I want to make a distinction here too, because we're talking about some things that uh, this is a world where a lot of people get confused. Uh, you can get into this circular process of buying a marketing system that, and then you promote that to make a commission where you're not really introducing a lot of value. So I want to be clear that maybe some of the confusion that you had in your prior journey, uh, and then now through our, our connection, uh, learning the difference is to actually 
you know, promotes something that has intrinsic value that can be used to build real business, not mm -hmm. just learn how to internet market so that you can teach people how to market online. Exactly. So, um, so we're not advocating that. We're advocating right. you know, doing real business online. Exactly. And that's exactly what I did, you know, mm -hmm. through the first seven, eight months before I really decided to make a daily concerted effort to really start my online business. I mean, I just kind of, like I said, I was just kind of feeling things out. Um, I, I, I wanted to do real business, you know? Mm -hmm. And so my, I mark my timestamp was October 8th. And 10 days later is actually when I met you, mm -hmm. uh, another partner of ours, um, Adam Bart, who will be a guest of mine in the coming weeks. Um, I had met uh, Adam just the day before I met you. I don't mm -hmm. know if you realize that or not, which is kind of interesting, you know, how we ended up in the same group, right? I met him around the same time too, within a day or two as well. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And, and so just through our connection, the, the interesting thing was I have had not met someone that understood where I was coming from. I'm a networker. I just talked to people. And that's what I did for those five years. And everybody would tell me, you know, I, you know, it's obvious that, you know, you're, you're a sincere and honest person. And I'm like, why would you say that? Like, well, I could see it in your videos. Mm -hmm. I was a big video guy back then when nobody mm -hmm. was really doing video. It was me and Steve Harris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was kind of interesting. So, you know, I knew I had that going for me, um, but I just didn't do it. But now fast forward nine years to 2020, social media and the internet had matured to the point where you know what now's my time now's our time now's when people can literally they have a cell phone and an internet connection they don't have to know any tech they don't have to create a website nothing all they got to do is just go online and make connections and they can actually make a thousand dollars at a clip and really and years ago, that was really hard without a, a lot of technical ability and I was never a techie and that was mm -hmm. one of my problems, you know, one of yeah. my issues. And I wasn't inter I wasn't looking at, you know, putting more money in and more money. I just refused to do that. I, I made my first $2,000 investment. That was enough for me and my training, <laughs> you know, but there's a lot of people out there. And I'm, you know, if you're watching this, you know, I, you might be not saying you, Brian, but the, our viewers may be one of those people because there's an awful lot of them that are putting money in and keep putting money in. And next thing you know, they're 10, they're 20, they're $50,000 in. And, you know, they just don't know what to do. And the interesting thing is, is that, you know, once you learn what I really refer to as the secret, which really isn't a secret at all, mm -hmm. but, you know, when you finally understand, it's really about exactly what I've done the whole time, which is really just connect with people. And, and, and that is actually where you and I connected deeply because you understood what, I mean, I've been teaching this for a long time and it's been one of the fundamentals to my success is back in 2002 when, you know, people were all into the internet and they would email, but no one had a phone number on their website. Nobody wanted to talk. Yeah. I would find people that ranked in Google for like what I was selling and I would, I would do the research and get them on the phone. And I'd make friends with them and I'd talk to them. And then they'd be promoting me as an affiliate. I built an army of hundreds right. of affiliates. So you can take nothing and form relationships and have gold uh, from that. And right. you know, one, of, one of the problems we encounter in our industry here with marketing is it's kind of hard to talk to people about what we're doing without it sounding like a sales pitch. And you know, when I first started talking to John, it's just I loved him because he was just saying like, you know, when people said that to him, he's like, I'm not selling anything. I'm just talking to you. Right. We're just discussing <laughs> like how this all works. And yeah. um, the beauty is John and I already we've been able to craft deals just because John is like a savant at connecting with people and talking to them and just getting to the point of, OK, let's make something happen like and finding the people who want to make it happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, John and I, we've actually closed deals that were like custom deals. There's, you know, we didn't have a shopping cart set up. We didn't have anything other than just our relationship, our connection uh, right. that happened. So, John, you said you had a goal when you first came online. What was your goal? Uh, you know, you said, okay, oh. come back oh, yeah. on, on the internet around October 8th. And then we met about 10 days later. 
you shared a goal with me when we first talked. What was your goal? Oh, to- all I all I really cared to do was was make like three to five thousand dollars a month because my my overhead is not that great like it used to be when I was in my business where I had five people working in an office plus myself. I mean, you know, I mean, I had to be doing a million dollars of business a year just to make some money, you know. Yeah. Um, but you have all that overhead. It's you know you can imagine what what it is. But now, uh, you know, I've got three kids in college. Um, I, I live with my partner and, uh, you know, we've got a great life and, you know, I really just need to make, a, you know, three to $5,000 a month. And interestingly, I remember you saying, really? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, what would you say if, uh, in the next three to six months, you'd be making about $25,000 a month? And I'm like, <laughs> what? You know, and I, and I, I, that's a pretty bold statement, Brian, you know? And, uh, you know, I just started listening and, you know, we move forward and I just continue to do what I do. And interestingly, within a week and a half, 10 days, two weeks, I'm referring people to Brian. And because that's what I've always done is I've always referred people to other people that can help them. It, it's not that I couldn't, that's how I could help them mm-hmm. is by listening to them, finding out what they needed and finding the person who I can refer them to because, you know, you always push, you're always best pushing the glory off on somebody else, right? Yeah. And then if you're working with the right people, it ends up coming back to you in a mysterious way, right? So it's, here, I got... It's not even mysterious. Off. If there's a structure and it's done intelligently, it's designed to come back to you. Well, and this is yeah. the whole point with mm-hmm. our connection is that I just did it naturally what you were going to teach me or teach our LMT mm-hmm. group. Our yeah. live media tribe group, by the way, mm-hmm. LNT is what that means. And uh, we are the founders of the Icon Masterminds, which mm-hmm. is Ryan's brainchild. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's 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 very, very interesting. I kind of lost my train of thought here, Brian. Um, so you mentioned the $25,000 a month goal. That's actually a goal that our initial right. private group has right. uh, that we're proceeding with. And I was just uh, sort of checking in with John to see where he was at that part of his journey. But that's actually what we're actively working on with our original mastermind group. And we also have this icon mastermind group where we're creating uh, global leaders uh, with yeah. what we're doing. So, so, so I can pick up where I, I left off there. So mm-hmm. you had said, you know, what if you can make $25,000 in the next three to six months? I'm like, uh, you know, like how? <laughs> and the next thing I know, we came across a situation where Brian then turns around and says to me, he explains to me how, you know, how money's made and so forth. And I was like, really? (laughs) Wow. That's how it happens. And you know, it's, it's just nothing short of amazing. I personally, you know, have always been um, very keen on the whole two tiered, the, the power of the two tiered affiliate, marketing concept or, or pay structure, which is what I term as, you know, it's like the salesman of the 21st century. Mm-hmm. You know, people, you know, businesses don't need the salesman that's in the car that they're paying the insurance to and going out on the road and selling. All they need to do is really have a, 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 a structure in place where it's really a referral system. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you have something like that, you can leverage people, everyone can leverage their referrals, the people that they know. And that's mm-hmm. what the whole MLM, multi-level concept is all about, right? And I picked up on that. So I made a couple of connections in, in the brick and mortar world with a, a barter company. I've also been a, 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 a an affiliate, a, a actual limousine service in a worldwide limousine business. We ha- have cars in over 300 cities around the globe. That's something I've been doing for 20 years now. So I've created these alliances where now I'm working with them to develop um, these affiliate, you know, salesmen, if you will. Mm -hmm. And everybody and anyone that is listening now, all you need to do is create an affiliate link, which I would send you, send me your email. I'll send you, you know, the link. You create your affiliate link. And next thing you know, if you know somebody, I matter of fact, I talked to a gal the other day. She said, wow, that's really amazing. She goes, I have a friend in Dubai and they have a limousine service. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce them to you. And I said, no, what you do is, is 
you create your affiliate link, okay? And you tell them that you're sending them my link, coded to you, which is coded to you. Any business they put into that system, you end up getting paid passively. Can you imagine in the next, when people start traveling again, right? And we're like the next Uber. Mm -hmm. And you have all these people being put into the system because you refer different people that you know that were travel agents or limousine services just because you told them to connect with me. So, so that works if you have a network of powerful connections. So That's right. if you understand the process that John and like that John and I are following, that John has been using for 30 years, that I've been teaching for 20 years in my business. It's how to establish and create that uh, because obviously um, if you're watching this and you say, well, yeah, it would be great to send my affiliate link to somebody to promote something like that. But like, you know, I might know one person that, that would be good, but uh, how to surround yourself in a universe where you literally have thousands of people to make these type of recommendations who would naturally be ready for that and wanting that and qualified for that. So, um, right. you know, there is, is a science of doing that. That's and that's right. what we're here with John's show, Powerful Connections, uh, and what we're doing with the Icon Mastermind Group um, is creating this type of a system. Exactly. And you mentioned, John, you mentioned MLM and two-tier affiliate. These are just small little components of deals that we do. For me, I've never been a member of an MLM, although I work with people uh, to help them with their marketing and to coach them who do MLM, but I've never done an MLM. Um, Interesting. Two-tier affiliate, something I've done two-tier affiliate uh, programs, but it's not something that I'm actively doing either. So I just want to be clear. You mentioned some really good techniques here, John, but there's uh, many more ways to structure sure. payment and and having these profitable, powerful connections. Sure. It, it was, Brian, it was through our connection that several of these um, different streams that came to mind for me. And, <laughs> you know, quite honestly... I, uh, I, it's like, I can't shut my brain off now. Yeah. I, you know, I've, I've, I have like four or five, six different streams right now that are developing and people are like, you know, you're overloaded. And I'm like, no, it's just a matter of establishing a system. Cause once you have a system in place, all you, all you're doing is managing it and directing. And that's really what it kind of comes down to. I actually was in the market for, this is interesting. You might not know this. Um, I was in the market for a VA, virtual assistant. And lo and behold, I get a, uh, a friend request by a VA, a gal in the Philippines. And I didn't know if it was a fake profile or what. And long, long story short, I ended up connecting with her, uh, set up a, a meeting for the next morning, 8.45 a.m. We're talking for an hour and 15 minutes. And next thing you know, I'm in my Zoom room talking with her, right? And at 10 a.m. on every Saturday morning, I have a, a family Zoom with my mom and my three sons. Next thing you know, on pops the screen, my mom, my three sons, boom, boom, boom. And now they're meeting my new VA. <laughs> so, John, uh, for, we got time for one more question here. But I want to I know. Sorry, you're interviewing me, but I need to know. I know. <laughs> uh, so you hired a VA. Wait a minute. You just came back online. How were you able to hire a VA? Did You didn't hit your first income goal, did you? That's the, that's the whole thing I did. I hit my first income goal. How long did it? Deal. How long? Three weeks, it, two and a half weeks. I, I think it started about the two week mark and it was consummated three to three and a half weeks in. And it's a week or 10 days after we met, you hit your $5,000. I, yes, I did. Yeah. And yeah. is there any doubt in your mind that 25,000 is, is no happening? doubt in my mind, especially with the things that I have going on now. It's just amazing. So there, so there you go, guys. Yeah. That's amazing. So John and I made this connection and now we have access to people who can make deals happen. That's and right. the idea is you talk to people and you get to know them and you have a relationship with them. And then you have people to bring deals to where custom things happen, new businesses emerge. We're, we're, John and I are living this lifestyle. That's so right. John, how can people work with you or work with us? Like what's well, the next step here? I, I was gonna say, Brian, we have these Facebook groups. Uh, there's three different ones. Okay, the one that I'm involved with primarily is the uh, the Journey Wealth um, group. On the Facebook. Wealthy Journey. Yeah. The, pardon me. 
The Wealthy Journey Facebook group. The Wealthy Journey Facebook group. There are two two other ones uh, named. Go ahead, Brian. The Healthy Journey and the Happy Journeys. You can join all three. Or uh, this is wealth related because we're talking about business here. Right, and so it's right on the screen. I believe the the um, the link. Go, you can go there. And then uh, the other the other thing is, as I was going to say, is you know come join join me each week Mondays five thirty p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Journey TV forward slash powerful. I think it's on the screen as well. Yep. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you next week with my and next you, guest. You can get the archive of all these episodes at Journey TV forward slash powerful. And John and I. Uh, we'll be in those groups and I'll just give the final parting wisdom of uh, connect with people, get to know them. Don't try to sell anything. Come hang out in our group and you'll meet uh, entrepreneurs that want to make this happen. And John and I will be in there to support you. You will get out of it what you put into it. And that's really right. what it comes down to. So great seeing you this week. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next week on Monday at 530 p.m. Eastern time. Aloha.